This is the black experience for all. I, I was in the Pentagon, I was Vice Director for Operations. Watch approach. Hey, this is Dulles Approach Control. We're tracking a fast-moving primary. Hey, Tower, did you see that? Hello? Crystal City, just north of Crystal City. Stop all departures. See what happened? Stop all. Yeah, we went in the Pentagon. Looks like it went in the Pentagon. Nine, Thirty or so, I believe, in the morning, I mean, TV monitors were on because we kind of kept you know, one of the news tape stations on. And I look up on the screen and I see the you know, power burning, and I said, "This looks really, really strange." I look where you can see the blue sky. So, so why is this going on? Hey, a plane just flown into one of the uh, uh, World Trade uh, Towers. Uh, just seemed really, really, really strange. And I'm thinking about that, and you know, nothing at, at that point in time, and then. A minute or two later, see another and a plane go to that second copy of the tank. The cameras are trained on the one, and you can see both of them. And so I immediately uh, run down to the command center, uh, which was a part of the structure that I was the vice director of, or all the operations director at the command center. And we're now trying to determine what it's going on, what it's all about. And pretty soon the story is beginning to be developed. It de develops that uh, you know, we've had these planes fly into the World Trade Towers uh, and it's not, it's not an accident. Uh, it was my job to be a part of securing America, if you will. Althea uh, is not only a role model for black girls and boys, and boys too, not just girls, but she's also a role model for others who are not black, because they can see what she accomplished in under difficult circumstances. Some people might say, where did I imagine that I could go into space when Scott Carpenter, John Young, John Glenn, Yuri Gagarin didn't look anything like me or seem to share anything in common with me? I could because I was raised by parents who helped me to maintain my self-confidence. It's the same confidence that every child is born with. And I had to learn, as you heard, never to limit myself because of others' limited imaginations. And these days I've had to translate that into never to limit anyone else's because of my limited imagination. I think it's important for young people to be exposed to as many areas as possible so that they can decide what they like and, and what appeals to them. I know you came from a very big family in Arkansas. Can you tell me about what that was like, Ms. Kearney? My parents were sharecroppers, which uh, meant we were very poor. Uh, there was a large family. My parents had uh, 19 children in all together. Together they had 17. My mother had one, my father had one when they married. Um, but they were amazing parents. That's extraordinary. I, I, you talk about the American dream, the daughter of sharecroppers to the diarist of the president of the United States of America. That's extraordinary. Yes, yes, it was, it was. And it was because of extraordinary parents. Yes. That's why it was. This is the black experience for all.